Okay guys, welcome to 3 Styles and welcome to another video. Without further ado, the ticker of the day will be... Tilray. Alright, so for the day... Well, Friday, it's Sunday now. It closed negative 0.8%. Uh, everything already happened. So, for the month, it's what you guys really want. Um, for the month, let's get started with the HMA 14 line. My HMA 14 line, which is my fastest uh, swing trade signal indicator that I use. So it was downtrending, but it started uptrending. See, the HMA, the blue line, it started uptrending, being over it, the candles consistently. And uptrend most of the month till the last two trading days here. For the PSARs, where it's gonna be it was negative, 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 and it has switched to positive about I would say two and a half weeks ago. It'll be positive, 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 positive. But bit the PSARs or the uh, this violet color. I don't know what you guys see, but this dots right here. And it is getting closer and closer to touching the candles. Once it's gonna be close to touching the candles, it will be a reversal. So it's getting kinda close there. Also the volume as you can see, I have picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up as it was going positive, but the last two trading days, it was less volume and it was more um, sellers than buyers. And you know, and it's under that. So um, one notable um, candle pattern that I see is the shooting star, which usually happens at the end of an uptrend. And it looks like a, a hammer, but it's just like, the, like the reverse hammer. This is the call a shooting star. And, um, and yeah, it, it true to the candle pattern. It seems the last two days it's been reversing, and this might be a short term or a medium term reverse so far from the one month. Now, now let's see at the three months. All right, so at the three months, let's focus on the MACD. All right, so this this are the candles of each trading day. So it's been uh, the MACD was about a negative negative as you can see, slightly positive here and really nowhere here and then started being positive here congruently positive grief positive now one thing that you want to see uh, on the histogram of the macd well the histogram is is, is under it is negative it's over it's positive but it also has signal lines right uh, the green and red signal lines so when they're under the histogram switching to over the, the over the histogram the actual histogram is the light blue and that's the best uh, signal that you could get as a positive, you know. You could get crossovers on top of it, but it's not going to be as strong as if they're under it. Just the same as if it was a negative trending, you would want the signals to be on top, going down to it. So right now it's looking good right here. However, the MACD is, seems like it's slightly going towards back to the negative side here the last couple of days. Um, what else can we look at the three months? The RSI, RSI, RSI was basically in within its reaches of, of overbought and undersold. It seems the lowest point was right here and uh, actually it was actually here. But you know how that it does its math. It was close enough. And it's over here is close to reaching a higher, higher overbought and it started to go down again. That's where RSI is. Nothing over dramatic on it. So let's skip to the six months. All right, so on the six months, we're gonna look at the boiling bands, which is these blue lines right here, on the top and bottom blue lines. You see them? And uh, this was just sporadic, by the way. <laughs> you know how these stocks were back there, just blowing up, and then they went, went down. But nothing too special on this, on this chart with the boiling bands. Um, I don't think it affects this specific stock that much, so we'll skip the rest of that. We're also going to review the PSARs. Um, positive, negative, again, by the way, where it did it, but positive and negative here. Slightly positive, but obviously it was wrong. That's why you need multiple indicators. Going negative again, positive, negative, and then positive again. <laughs> also, a quicker look at the longer six months volume. It was going a lot, it was getting a lot over here, and then it started dying, down, down, down. It's picking up here again in a few negative days. On the MACD of the six months, same thing. See, just like I told you guys before, if it's the MACD's, um, if the MACD's histogram is going under, 
bit the signals were also on top going under that's the best size signal of a downtrend and that's what happened over here just the same way as if the histogram is going positive and uh, the actual signal lines are going positive also and that's the best ones that you get as long as they're under it to begin with this is some stuff you gotta learn over time guys so overall right now um well, I gotta go show you guys the one year, I guess. Let me show you all the one year because I'm leaving my favorite SMA 50 line. This this purple line right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And that's what I use, like I told you in other videos, to indicate if a stock is healthy or unhealthy, right? So over here is borderline, borderline, borderline. And then the stock's starting to be all over it. Healthy, healthy, healthy. And then we're over here where it hit and it went under under the SMA 50 line they were all negative 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 good thing about it is over here recently and I can show you this in the six months it will be more better to see it do I even have, I have it on the other months too by the way here's the line and then finally they're coming back into the positive territory now um, I also use an, an SMA 21 as a crossover and over here when it crossed over the SMA 20 over the SMA 50 it was positive 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 and then when it crossed under it the white line it was negative 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 good news about that is it's getting closer they're, they're getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer so as you can see it, it did go over the healthy line again like maybe it's making a bounce and then with this but the recent signals are showing that maybe it's taking a little break from the from going positive but the good news is that it is seeming like it's about to bounce again maybe be a short term down, down before it goes up again because it's already over the healthy SMA 50 line and the SMA 20 line the white one 21 line they're about to cross over again they're getting close to cross over and then when they cross over it's going to be healthy like just another good positive um, I, was, I would say the longest term indicator swing trader indicator to get into it because it's about to do it right here if you don't use the SMA 50 which was here or any other indicators but yeah real real short term seems like it's taking a break from the, up, the recent uptrend but longer longer trend it seems like it's, it will continue you know so that's it um but also remember news and events before indicators guys news and events before indicators because i could tell you that right now it's it's uptrending um as far as you know longer term but it's about to take or it took a, a small break right now from that but using indicators could change anything in any direction at any time. So using indicators before using events, I'm sorry, before indicators. Um, I'm still new to this, so I'm, I know I'm kind of like repeating myself a lot. But you know, if you can improve on anything, let me know. If you're learning, let me know. Uh, yeah, but that was Tilray for today. Uh, let me know what y'all think, and thank you.